Hello everybody. This is Dr. Shravya and I am a practicing dentist. In our regular practice, we encounter many kids with various dental problems. Most of them are a result of improper brushing and poor oral hygiene. Upon counseling their parents, most of them express that it was difficult for them to manage their kids' brushing. So their kids might be reluctant for brushing or will just say no for brushing. Brushing happens to be an essential part of your kids daily routine. So today we will discuss on how to go about teaching brushing for your kid and some tips to mold their attitude for brushing. Before going into further discussion, we need to understand the behavior of a kid for an activity on this scale. Minus 5 in this represents totally negative attitude. and plus 5 is like a totally positive attitude so whenever we introduce any new activity to a kid they are either neutral to it like zero or they may be slightly positive or slightly negative that is their behavior on this scale might be zero minus 1 or plus 1 So we need to make sure that we take measures to drive them towards the positive end. Today, let us understand some things to encourage brushing. First, storytelling. Make your child understand the importance of brushing. You should do it in a story form rather than a single sentence. So rather than just saying brushing is good for your teeth, You can build a simple story like Mintu is a very smart kid who is very good in sports academics etc but he is not having too many friends because he had a bad order coming from his mouth so once he shifted to good brushing habits like he started brushing every day then everybody wanted to be his friend so similarly you could either include their favorite cartoon characters in a story and create a nice story which would be interesting and also which would explain them the importance of brushing so the second thing we should do is modeling which means you should let them observe and follow someone who is following the right practices so this method is based on the fact that kids are very good imitators So if they observe that their mother or someone else in the family are brushing properly and are having good teeth even they would like to follow the same positive reinforcement after a successful session make sure to appreciate your kid by maybe a simple star or a smiley or a pat or just a sentence as simple as a good job well then this is very good or something like that this will make them feel proud of themselves and they would like to repeat the activity every day next making brushing an activity you should make brushing interesting or a fun activity which they want to do every day like you can just say let us start drawing circles in the air with the brush then switch to smaller circles like two or three circles which are slightly smaller then you can say let's now make smaller circles as small as your teeth now these smaller circles should be made with a brush on each tooth this is the way that you have to teach them self brushing as well negative reinforcement This should not be the first step that you try. You should only try this once all the above factors or all the other conditions are not working out because this is a sort of punishment for your kid's bad behavior. For example, you can cancel his TV time or a favorite cartoon time or trip to a park if they are not brushing properly. Then a regular dental visit It is a good practice to take your kid for a regular dental visit once in a while 
even if they don't have any complaints. To a dentist in case of a pain or any dental emergency might inculcate fear in your child. Instead, a regular dental visit will bring an impression that visiting dentist is a part of routine to take care of their teeth. Now let us see some don'ts or things that should not be done while teaching brushing in your kit. So following things might eventually lead your child towards a negative behavior and should be avoided in any case. First one is forceful brushing. This usually happens when you do not have enough time to spend for brushing your kids teeth. For example, you might want to leave to your office and your kid is still sleeping. Then you will wake him up and start brushing as you don't have enough time. This thing may develop reluctance towards brushing in your kid. It is still okay to skip brushing on such days than to force your kid for brushing. Another mistake which parents do while teaching brushing is discouraging self-brushing. For kids below age 4, parental brushing is indicated and we do agree that you as an adult can brush their teeth better than the kid himself. But in case if they want to hold a brush or they want to brush on their own, do not say no. This will lower their confidence in doing things independently. Instead, you can say that you will give them a chance once you are done brushing. So make sure you leave them with the brush for some time but without paste because there might be chances of swallowing paste. Don't scare your child. Things like, if you do not brush, I'll take you to a dentist or some doctor and he will give a big injection or if you won't brush, I'll send you to someone else or call someone. These can also develop a negative attitude or a negative behavior in your kid. And in case if you are still struggling to manage brushing in your kid, you can seek some professional help. With any professional help, the kid may not turn from a minus 5 of negative attitude to plus 5 but we can only expect 1 or nits of change per visit. Thank you.